Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you about Pipedrive's feature that's called Lead Booster. It's an add-on feature that you have to pay for. So if you already have a plan and you add this, it gives you a whole bunch of extra features you can leverage so you can drive more sales. There are a few different things you can do with Lead Booster. One is you can build your own chatbot with custom journeys. So when someone's visiting your website, they're actually able to select what brings them to your website and you can potentially convert that into an actual lead, whether it's the callback later or it could also be a live chat so that you can have an in the moment conversation with anyone that's visiting your website. Your website is your 24 seven office. And so having something automated to monitor it is really nice. So you can capture those opportunities when those customers already have those pain points. Now, Lead Booster also has not only the live chat feature, which will pop up when someone's in your website in the moment, and you can try to talk to that customer live, but you can also use the prospector feature, which allows you to search for the potential customers you're trying to look for. So they give you a few credits, and I'll show you a little bit more around how you can select the credits that you want on a monthly basis. And each credit represents one lead, basically. The default feature gives you 10 credits. So in essence, you can try to get 10 leads every month. Uh, and then it, that resets all the time for you to do outbound outreach. And then the fourth feature is the web form. Today, we're just going to go over how to build a chat bot playbook so that you can put it inside your website and you can see how that journey works. Let's get started. If you currently have pipe drive you could always do the trial they usually give you about 14 days for you to try it out and if you like it it is 32 dollars 50 cents extra per month per company to have these four features added into your existing pipe drive crm setup so it's available for all the plans and basically you're going to get 10 leads available through the prospector feature okay so we're here in the chatbot screen well, what you will see is this is an active chatbot this is uh, some company that I'm working with right now. And you'll see that this is a website that gets a whole lot of visits. And it, it, what's really nice about when you set up an actual playbook is they're going to give you statistics that are going to tell you how many times has someone actually viewed the chat bot, clicked on it. And through your playbook, based on the questions that they answer, if the website visitor actually shares a name, a phone number, or an email, then we will automatically either qualify the lead or disqualify the lead and we can build a journey based on the questions that are asked in the automation so let's get started with, with starting a new playbook so the first thing is you're going to click on leads this is where you're going to find the lead booster feature and just in your next to your lead inbox you're going to click on where it says chatbot and you, this is where you'll be able to create a new playbook right here on the top right the next thing it's going to ask you is what color would you like your chatbot to be? I'm going to keep it in the same theme. And then on the right, you see kind of a, a version of what it would look like. You hit continue. And then it's just going to say, what do you want to call this chatbot? So we'll call it test. What language do you want it in? Which is really nice. It has it available in different languages. Then what kind of templates uh, do you want to select it for? Like, what's the objective of this chatbot? So you can say, I want to be able to get more leads. I want to be able to book more meetings. I want to be able to qualify and route leads. And then I want to be able to chat with my leads in the moment. In this case, let's pick the one that says, I want to get more leads. But it's really cool if you put the one that says book more meetings, it'll actually bring in the scheduler feature inside of Pipedrive and automatically schedule an appointment with your integrated software, if that's uh, something that you want to select. So we're going to pick the get more leads and then it's going to say create playbook. All right. So what you see here now is in essence, the mapping of how the sequence will be. So the first pop up that will show up in the, the chat bot, you see down here on the right, it actually will give you the demo when it's clicked on, it'll say, welcome to our website. What brought you here today? And you see that the default three options is I'm looking to buy, I'm just browsing, or I'd like some help. So I can actually go into here and modify any other questions. I'm going to decide to keep this in the same actual question. But what I want to do is maybe I want to change the name of this response. So I can go ahead and edit this specific response. 
So here's where I would go is I would edit the question itself. And then here are the response options. And so here, let's just pretend, for example, that this is my services. So I'm going to say I am interested in automating my workflows. Okay. And the next one, we could keep it. Um, I'm just browsing. And the third one, I want to change it to, I would like to schedule a call with Carlos. I'd like to schedule a call. Okay. Now you can add more options if you want, but we'll keep it to the three options where they are. So now you'll see that I'm interested in automating workflows. I'm just browsing. I'd love to schedule a call. All right, great. So if someone says I'm just browsing, then I can choose what is going to be the exact uh, response. So in this case, I'm going to say I'm going to disqualify it, right? Because we're not actually trying to sell anything. We're just letting them enjoy them browsing the site. And then the closing message will be cool. I'm here if you need any help. Um, in this case, is I'd like to schedule a call. Well, we're going to change that status to actually a qualified lead. And in this scenario, now it's going to say, what do I want to do with that? So I'm going to, have to convert, I'm going to turn it into a lead, which what will happen is we will capture the information. All right. And the owner, who's going to be the owner of that? Do I want this person to be emailed? Okay. And I can add as many emails to get notified in that sense. Do I want them to schedule a meeting? Sure. Yeah. I could also create an actual meeting. And here's where I can modify the availability using the scheduler feature inside of the inside of the software itself. In this scenario, if I'm using a separate type of, uh, uh, let's say like a Zoom or a Calendly, then I can also put something in here in the closing message. Thanks for reaching out. You know, here's here's the link to schedule your discovery call with Carlos. And then I would just put the link right in here, right? So I actually select that in here and I put the actual link, right? Calendly.com slash exceed sales. So you don't have to get married to the idea of the software scheduler, but obviously it's a lot more convenient to do so. So there you go. I have... Now I have three specific routes in which the customer can go to. Um, let's go into the one that says I'm interested in automating workflows. All right. So then I'm going to just respond. Hey, that's great to hear. Um, you know, could I get your name? Sure. So then what we will do here is this is saying is I'm going to capture some information. So I'm telling the bot I want to capture the person's name. Right. So now I can have it create a lead. And then I could just say, thank you. What's your company's name? Uh, I could add additional fields in there. So if I want to say something like a question, a capture, or a live chat, I can add a new card. In this case, I'm just going to let this uh, original playbook do its thing. What's the name of your company? And then can I get your email? Uh, and then I would go ahead and say, hey, look, I'm going to qualify this lead and then give them a closing message. Thank you. I could, I could change that to, you know, Carlos will be in touch with you. If you have any questions, you know, please contact this specific email so in essence this is how you build a an actual playbook once you save it then of course you do need to um, follow the instructions where you can install it into your website typically a lot of folks use wordpress you will actually get instructions of how to add the chatbot into your website itself so i'm going to use an example of one of the websites that we have. So here's an example of my brother's website. It's QBK Accounting. And we actually built a chatbot for him. And so here you go. This thing pops up, says, welcome to our website. We are a QuickBook Keeping accounting firm and QuickBook specialist. So you open that up and you've got the three options. And so if I were to click, I want to purchase QuickBooks. We built about five different responses for this one. And then to say, what kind of QuickBooks do you want to buy? All right, well, I'm interested in getting QuickBooks online. 
And so it'll continue to follow that rhythm. So what's really nice about this is that we can have any custom responses. We could also ask the person visiting the website, do you want someone to contact you? And here, if I say yes, then it's going to capture the lead. Okay, so last thing I'll show you is what happens now with all these leads. So what's cool is you go back into your pipe drive and in your lead section in the inbox, you can actually segment how you want to see all your leads through this window. And I'm just isolating all my chatbot leads and you can see everything that's coming in through here. And it's just a nice way for you to find out what the actual customer wants. What's cool is that it actually gives you a breakdown of everything that they need, what brings you to the website, as you can see, and from the actual uh, lead information tab, you can convert it into a deal and then actually make it really nice for you to stay in touch, keep track of everything that's happening. And this is how you use a CRM to help you stay in touch and keep track of all your leads and convert more business and close more deals. In essence, this is how you build a nice playbook for a chatbot so you can capture website visitors, convert them into leads and guide them and also capitalize on these opportunities. If you're interested in learning more, I have a link for you to get a 30 day free trial of PipeDrive. I am affiliate partner with PipeDrive. If you go through the normal route, it'll only be 14 days. I highly recommend you try the lead booster feature and use the chatbot so you can get more conversion, more leads and capture the opportunities that are coming through your website. If you have any questions, go ahead and send me an email and I'm happy to help. Thanks.